Hello everyone, Gaming is Life here, and today we are going to talk about Xbox One, e, Xbox One's E3 2014 lineup, which was recently leaked to the public. And it it's all rumors, you could say that, but it's very it's very precise rumors, and I wouldn't be surprised if it turns out to be almost exactly like the rumors. Okay, in I'll just say, in the background, I have a game of Minecraft Hunger Games going. I hope you guys like that. I don't think I win this one. I don't know. You'll see. But, going back to E3 2014, this is going to be a great year. I'll start off by saying that. Because, and I'll, I'm just going to talk about uh, Microsoft side with the Xbox One. Uh, in another video, I'll talk about Sony's side. I don't think I'm going to do Nintendo just because they don't really have that much going for them. But, we'll see. Okay. So, on Xbox One side, one big thing they're supposed to release and talk about is Rise 2. And that is... Yeah, no, no, that's going to be awesome. Just the problem... I hope they fix the problems that Rise, the first Rise had, which I have, and one of the biggest problems being repetitive gameplay. You're doing the same executions every time. So, anyway, getting off track. Uh, Microsoft, I'll start say this right off the bat, they have, and they openly announced this, that they have so much content that they want to show that they had to... Um, take a lot of it away because they didn't it didn't fit within the 45 minute um a lot of time that they have to show it so i don't that's gonna be really cool but other than rise 2 there's another forza coming out not Forza. it's not a number it's like uh forza horizons or whatever and it's supposed to be open world in Arkansas, and that's going to be pretty cool. An open world Forza game. Uh, and it's supposed to have 80 plus hours of single player gameplay. So that's if you, that sounds like a good buy, and I'm excited about that. But we'll see, we'll see. So another thing that I'm really excited about is Halo 5. That is supposed to be announced, and we're supposed to get a release date. We might even get some gameplay, which would be awesome to see what's coming up. I am a big fan of the Halo series. It's usually well done. So we'll probably see that, and we'll see another great game. And I'm excited about that. So, other than that, I'm sure Microsoft is going to talk about the Xbox One and a future, they're going to talk about future updates and, oh, what, there is one thing that they're working on, I'm not sure that this is going to be incorporated into E3, but they are already working on redesigning the um, Xbox One, which is pretty interesting considering that it just came out so I wonder what they're gonna do with that so and then we probably are gonna see a lot of the games that are just coming out I don't know see it's I just know it's gonna be awesome because of how much content that they say they have and they're also announcing improvements on the free games that we're releasing. And if you don't know this, uh, there's this thing called Games with Gold, and it's been on the Xbox 360 for a while. So this is basically, if you have Xbox Live Gold, then every, um, well now, every half month, or so 15 days about, you get a new uh, game, and it will... It was, that wasn't priorly free, and it launches for free. Okay, so, say on Xbox 360, it was recently, um, oh, it, it, there's been many games that's released, but on the Xbox One, the first one's come, I think, coming out in June. 
are going to be uh, Halo, Spartan Assault, and Max, The Curse of the Brotherhood. Those are two uh, games that were like priorly either 20 or 15 bucks, I forget. But, so they're announcing improvements on that, and you're actually going to be able to choose between two digital games. It's, it's not perfectly clear yet, that's why I'm not going to go into too much detail on it. But, the prop, it, it's, they're solving a big problem because PS4 and Sony have been launching a lot of free games for the PS4, and so they're gonna, Microsoft is gonna catch up to them on that, make it, make it even on the playing field, but, so it will be interesting to see what games they release. It's, I, and they're certainly not gonna ever release something big like Battlefield 4 or Call of Duty Ghost for free. I mean, that would <laughs> that would be very expensive, let me tell you that. But it will be interesting to see how much they value their service to us and how much, you know, they incorporate that in handing us free games. So either way, it's great that we're going to get free games. And the interesting thing is um so it's games with gold. You can download it while you have Xbox um, Xbox Live Gold, but you can keep playing. Uh, well, this is pretty obvious. You download it online and you keep it in. Uh, you keep it forever, and you can play it when you no longer have Xbox Live Gold. So that is pretty awesome, and that's pretty much all I have to say. Okay, so guys, this was Gaming is Life. I hoped you liked it. Like, comment, and subscribe if you did. It really helps me out, and I. We'll see you guys later in just finishing up the match. Okay. Bye, guys.